Hey everybody, Ross Dog here, and the Sinless Sun 0.3 version special program is here. Yanagi is around the corner. Let's see what lies in store for us. It's 34 minutes long. Let's go for it. Let's see. Hi there, proxies. Hello. Welcome to the Sinless Sun Zero special program. I'm getting Yanagi. You getting Yanagi? You I haven't got Bernice. I've done like 60 pulls. Haven't got yet. And next to me is. <laughs> it's tough. It's rough. Hello, Lady Meow. Hello, Hello Lady Meow. Meow. What's up? Hi, We're live, pal. We're Welcome live. To the show. In today's live stream, I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the latest updates. Let's go. I truly appreciate your support. Let's go Why for it. So serious, Mr. Z. You're not are we bringing right so serious back? Okay, you are bringing it back. Time, are you? Not at all. Section 6 is an elite team specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. Yeah, they are. To residents of New Eridu, they're like guardians watching <clears> over us. <throat> Might be a bit of an exaggeration, but for the average person, <laughs> the average person, eh? Section six is definitely a group to look up to. Mm. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. Do they though? Mm -hmm. Do they? As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the Section Six fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Mm -hmm. Next, I'll be introducing them to you all. Okay. But before we get to Section Six, we have to first introduce Hand, the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. Cool. They're one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Oh, the bureaucracy. <clears throat> Let's not put it that way. Although they're a high-level organization involved in city administration, All right. HAND mainly handles matters related to hollow disasters. As a specialized agency, HAND needs its own armed forces, which is why they established hollow special operations. And Did they know? Six okay. The sixth unit of HSO. That's right. Section 6 has built quite the reputation since its establishment and gained a lot of respect among the public. Nice. Though, under normal circumstances, few get the chance to interact I'm with I'm sure them. we will. But if you ever get caught up in a hollow disaster <laughs> you! or some just hollow thing. related crime, you might just meet this elite <clears throat> team. Yep. Elite. If you do elite. Run into them, elite. Consider it both what an elite team they are. The curse. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a blessing. Oh, you know, yeah. Oh, we've already said say one. What, what the hell? <laughs> what is going Okay. They've got their stands, I guess. Well, there you go. Lovely <laughs> job, but Don't worry, everyone. There is one normal person among them that you can rely oh, on. Among them? You mean Miss Yanagi, right? Yes! That's right. Let's go! We've been waiting for her since freaking 1.0. Oh, she looks Yanagi. so good. Everyone oh. knows now that HSO Section 6 is part of Hands Armed Forces, mm. and that the team members are all highly capable fighters. Yes, sir. The founder and team leader, Miss Hoshimi Miyabi, oh. is Miyabi as well. exceptional. She'll be around the corner, but too. It's Miss Yanagi's oh. that transforms the raw oh. power of Section Bruh. 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. I, I, she's got some big brains. <laughs> she's, way, she's got a big set of brains. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. Okay. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. All right. Hello, Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. But Logo, it's... Here, I can build countless stars, but you can afford a single mistake. Hurting people like this, the special monster we're looking for... Must be you. Oh, she looks so good! Let's go! Electro Mommies. We love our Electro Mommies on our Gacha games. Gotta love them. Shock them all, Yanagi. Shock them all. Alright, yep, sort them glasses. Yep. So good. I, Lighter, of the Sons oh. of Kalanon. This Lighter story? Okay. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. Oh. He's just gonna beat the crap out of you all. The challenge is, can you can you withstand my beatdown? To deal with you, fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take my right? Oh. And you're going down with me! Don't you Oh, virtual revenge. Wow, oh, she looks so good. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. You can ask her yourself. Hey, Lady Mel, why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? Come on, Mr. Z. I'm an intel broker, do you know? Oh. I managed to get some audio files like Miss Yanagi. <gasps> oh, what kind of audio files are you thinking? Oh, what? Hello, I'm Sukashiro Yanagi, oh. Chief Intelligence Officer of Section 6. Is this from a public recording? Yes, sir. Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The Chief of Section 6 is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our positions. Okay. How are you having a conversation with a recording? Mm, thank you for the clarification, <laughs> Miss Yanagi. I 
heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Miss Miyabi, mm -hmm. and that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position even within Han. Is there some deeper story behind it? Hmm? Is there? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by hand and the city administration in consideration of the state of the city and the hollows. Right. We share the same mission okay. as our other colleagues at hand to deal with hollow disasters. Right. Residents of New Eridu can also log into the city's official website for public information on all divisions at hand. Oh my, quite the official answer. You sure don't let anything slip through. No, sir. Up. No, sir. Not well, at all. I heard that the members of Section 6 are all rather eccentric. How do you coordinate them, Miss Yanagi? Mm. Section 6 operates smoothly under our chief's leadership. I simply assist her by handling minor tasks when needed. Our team is equipped to deal with any major hollow related incidents, and my teammates know what they're doing, so there's no need for too much supervision. Good. Of course, if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off, then it's my duty to discipline them. Uh, yeah, she will discipline us hard. <laughs> she will. Just get colder. <laughs> Must be your imagination. Mm, but I can tell this family would fall apart without you. All right, let's talk about Section 6's latest operation now. Can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. The specifics are confidential. Hmm. Ooh, I can sense something big must have happened here. Oh. Could it be related to the new equipment? Looks so good. Oh, the curiosity is killing me. Looks like we'll have to find out the truth ourselves. Whoa! Oh Rangers god! Is, I love the second episode. piece art, the, anyway, the second part artwork sure stuff. They're so good. I can't believe I didn't know about this intel. Mm. I have failed as an intel broker. Don't be sad, Mr. Z. There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. Really? Am I still qualified to do this? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just go for it. And let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Although the Torti Inferno has concluded, did. the story of a certain champion remains mm, untold. Lighter. After the Torti Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are yes, more than lighter now. And as the but champion just bumps of the him, and he Kadon, tries to keep his ground when she bumps him while she's doing her song. Sporting his leather jacket, accented with a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the red scarf and sunglasses. Why someone so independent like him join a biker gang? Mm. Well, although lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf, he actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon. Good. But good there to must hear. be some hidden reason behind his decision to join them. A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Leiter himself? Oh. Don't tell me you have a recording There's of There's recordings of them everywhere. Hello, Mr. Leiter. Cool. The undisputed champion. Why did you join the Sons That's of Chris Caledon? Jericho, that is. Chris Wait, Jericho was the first really undisputed champion. Like that? That's who he was. <laughs> there a hidden reason, he wouldn't just tell us. <laughs> That's who he's based on. Daddy a favor. I'm sorry, Big Daddy. Huh? That's it? Oh. I see. As expected of Mr. Leiter, straightforward and honest. Yes, sir. Speaking of which, the Tord Inferno is over and a new overlord has been crowned. But I heard there's something called Settlement Days in the Outer Ring. Ah, uh, I've heard of it too. Oh. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, anyone with past the grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. This is also a chance for the gangs to resolve personal grudges. In the past, these challenges were certainly far more brutal. <laughs> but in recent times, Settlement Days is more like a festival. And is that? it's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the overlord. Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Leiter? Challenge accepted. Certainly see himself. Okay, he's just like, hey, yeah, all right, cool. And there he goes. So he's, he's out with 5,000. take long. And he doesn't seem nervous at all. Right. It doesn't seem like the Sons of Caledon are taking settlement days very seriously. No, sir. But like Leiter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In Leiter's agent's story, Whoa, okay. Bro? The, the unsung champion. Jesus, all right. That's some As artwork. As settlement days began, everyone in the Sons of Caledon is goofing around. Mm. Meanwhile, Leiter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However, he will step up to him. He to he's the gladiator battle battle. of the place he is. The situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, mm. if we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. True. Speaking of the outer ring, isn't Pearlman still out cold there? We shouldn't forget, he still has crucial intel. Mm -hmm. Does Not I? Don't worry, it won't take long Does before he the now? can get that mm -hmm. crucial intel from Perlman. And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the Vision case. Mm -hmm. This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6. So please stay tuned for future installments of we will the do. story. Thank you. There will still be some time before the continuation of that story. Mm -hmm. So let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agents. Huh? We're moving on. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, let's dive into the intro. So good. On Yanaki. Oh. As you can see, I'm the one giving the info this time. Sukishiro. Uh, well, we knew she was Electro Mommy. Anomaly as well. Okay. Anomaly agent with electrifying attacks. 
seriously. Doesn't anyone care that I'm the one who got this info? <laughs> no, not really. All right, how's she doing? Ah, oh, yes. Let's go. She's a combination of styles to take down enemies. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her Oh, stance. okay. She's got two... Okay. Yeah, available moves will change depending on her stance. And she'll also get different buffs. Ooh. Oh, yeah. They've got, like, all the icons at the top there. Okay. After Yanagi switches stances. Simply put, as long as you keep a good rhythm of switching Switch her stances, stances yeah. Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs wow. from her stances. Also, after Yanagi switches her stance, every time she deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. When she unleashes her EX special attack, Yanagi enters Shinra Banchuo state and switches her stance. Uh. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack, dealing electric damage. Gotta got love the if Electra the Mommy. is under an anomaly, Yanagi will trigger a special disorder effect without removing the target's anomaly okay. while giving herself a buff. Now, let's see this in action. Oh, here we go. Show us what she's made of. Oh, oh, she's in working combat, Bernice, okay. Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. Ah. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate, only intense focus as she lets nice. loose a of deadly slashes. Nice, nice, nice. Trust me, you don't want to be on her bad side. Yeah, definitely not. Oh, she looks so good. <laughs> so, so, so good. Yanagi is still a gentle person. Mm -hmm. She only becomes that serious when things get real. Oh, got more details to share? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I can't give away everything just yet. Now let's shift our focus to lighter. Hey. Here comes lighter and S rank fire and stun agent. The fire and stun. Okay, lighter. Okay. You probably still remember this cool dude. Uh -huh. Indeed, he's a proud member of the Sons of Caledon, no doubt. Wait, is this our first male scarf? He certainly stands Limit. out in the crowd. But truth be told, it is right. Not one to hot the spotlight. And yeah, I think it is. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's our first in male combat. limited. That is. Lighter faces his enemies head on in close range combat. And when his morale Boom. is high enough, the fifth hit of his basic attack sends him into an enhanced Oh god, he, just fists of fury he's, he's going for. Pow! Pow, pow right in the kisses all the time. His, foes. his attacks also reduce the damage. Just go crazy with it. Makes them stunned longer. Uh, no, 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 they're all working with Benice. So Benice also, was perfect to get. Benice just works with everybody. She's not good. Or his sons of Caledon friends. He allows his teammates to deal more fire and ice damage when he uh, hits enemies. Uh, Oh, okay. Ah, so he's switching it. Oh, okay. Lighter recovers morale as his teammates face off against opponents. Once Lighter is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist to switch. So, so is he a switch and switch out then? Yeah. Flurry of punches do it. Do his quick punches attacks. and go crazy. This okay. Stun enemies quicker, setting up his team for some serious DPS. Yes. Yeah. So okay then. And when it's time for his ultimate, Lighter slams the ground with wow. a powerful punch, dealing massive damage and daze to nearby enemies. With his fiery fists and powerful fighting style, Lighter sure is a. Hey, he looks fun to play. I don't think I'll get him. I barely have any whip warps as it is already, man. Jesus, I think I'm on like 70. And I need those for Yanagi. <laughs> oh, free to play is tough, guys. Free to play is tough. Get our Mahjong game going. We're still short two players, you know. Hmm. I don't think so. Let's stay on track. After the 1.3 update, proxies can signal search in the Bang Boo channel to get the A rank Bang Boo, Daddy Boo, and may also get Night Boo as a reward. Okay. The mystery of our Peggy. It looks fun. Just so you know, the only way to obtain that boo as of now will be from that event. Right. Betty Boo is an A rank bang boo who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails <laughs> to deal with the Just his rockets and cocktails, Molotov cocktails around. An nice. and activating a chain Look attack, at him go! Betty Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take them all out with one big blast. Very nice. Now, our other A rank bang boo, Night Bull, can summon stars onto the battlefield. Oh. Collecting those stars resource energy for agents. Ah, when activating a okay. attack, Night Boo summons three rainbow ponies. <laughs> the ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. With these new ah. agents and bang boo raring to go, All right, someone to check out then. Searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3, proxies will have oh, access to the Of course, she's the first half. Of course, she is. And the W Engine channel, Destiny um. Sonata. I would love to get her and her W engine, but I, I don't know if that's going to happen. Really don't think that's going to happen. The exclusive channel, Champion of Embers, and the W engine channel, Dissonant Sonata, will be offering exclusive S rank Agent Lighter and the S rank W engine, Blazing Laurel. As for the 1.3 Champion events, 
Get our ten pulls. Of course, the usual. Also, many of you probably know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching trust rank four with characters. Mm -hmm. Here are Yanagi and Letters' dynamic backgrounds. Oh, what, what's your Nagi's like? Oh, yes, yep. We will be getting trust level four with your Nagi. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. The new bang boo. These new friends are itching to. <laughs> like you're just chilling at the bar, of course. Maybe we can squeeze in a couple rounds of, of course. <laughs> before they go join our proxies. Perhaps we should drop that topic for now. Hmm. Then what topic should we talk about instead? Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption code. Oh, okay, get your codes, guys. Oh yeah, they give them all in one go, isn't it? Yeah. So virtual revenge. There you go. Simple, plain and simple. Virtual revenge. Oh, your night game looks so good. With a version 1.3 update, we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too. Let's take a look. Let's take a gander, guys. First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter stories are coming. Right. I need to get around to doing it, everybody. I've still got so many stories to do. We need to get around. I'm just gonna have to like commit a day, just commit a few days doing everybody's event stories. Which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm up exercises, and then exchange them for rewards. Nice. In Sukashiro Yanagi's program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Traces, proxies can check out Sukashiro Yanagi's story and themed stages. Oh. Meanwhile, in Lighter's TV schedule program, The Champion, not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series oh, okay, of so you got... Oh, wait. Stages. Is that side scrolling? Give Lighter a different buff. Of course, the hell are we going street to read style with this? Okay. All right. <laughs> Dude, side scrolling streets of read style gameplay. Okay. I, I can take that. That could be fun. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode, the simulated battle, battle trials. trials. Okay. By fighting battle after exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Apart from polychrome rewards, players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. The higher you climb, the higher you climb. We just need polychromes. That's all we need. But lots and lots of polychromes. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents. And your agents won't recover until you complete the entire phase. Mm. Like your HP, for example. Agents will retain the amount of HP they had from the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. Right. As you keep going through the challenge, you'll unlock more agents to choose from. Yep, and enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials too. I'll just, example, I'll just have to have my Jane do do everything. And if we get Yanagi and she's resurrect. built up, it'll just be them too. It'll just be them having to do all the damage. Go for it, proxies. In addition, we're adding Mysterio. a new roguelike gameplay mode in Hollow Zero called the Mystery of Arpeggio Fall. Okay. This mode is split into five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. Mm. As you can see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them. See, by I, that's what they've just come to know. TV mode for events, and it, it, it worked out better that way, actually. Just do the TV mode for events. Like this innocent shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves to all the loot. <laughs> Looks like even the store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power. I mean, they're shot <laughs> with. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. Cool. The Bang Boo you get in game will show up as special Bang Boo Rizonia, following proxies and providing bonus effects. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP, which can be used to activate the blessing group chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. Once you've finished exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. Mm. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs. So more buffs than that. So yeah, it's similar to uh, the weekly the thing then. The get your get buffs, buffs and that skill tree. tree. Completely up to you. Okay. So proxies can customize their skills to suit their style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, let's discuss rewards. There are both permanent and limited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new. Ah, uh, so this is how you get the night dude, right? Okay, okay. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to. Explore I'm sure it'll be simple. I'm sure it won't be too oh, crazy or difficult, right? Hosting a new event too. Sure, but very straightforward. There, proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each stage. Mm. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, Suki Shiro Yanagi. Utilizing specific okay. buffs, proxies can try soloing the stages with a single agent. So don't miss out if that sounds like something you're hey, into. Hey, if it involves your night game, we're always into it. <laughs> that is no, no if or buts about that, my friend. No if or buts about that. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Oh, hey, Sean. Word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky customers. 
Linehan, and you might score a spot as a VVVIP the VVIP customer VVIP. That's <laughs> a very, 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 very important person. Waiting too. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. Oh. The Edna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. Okay. During this event, proxies can visit different Bang Boo. Oh. Oh, that's tests. cute. <laughs> Take photos for the Bang Boo and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. Those Bang Boo. <laughs> have, they re have they released Bang Bang Boo plushies yet? Is that still training? on the cards for them you at some point? By counting them. Don't let any distractions throw you off. Right. Bang Boo always appreciate a helping hand from proxies. So, besides the event rewards, you can also get some photo wall decorations in return. There's also a Bang Boo with a little card <laughs> handing out tasks, too. Okay. Head over to the Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. By the way, have you heard? San Z Studio is opening oh. up in Lumina Square. They're stocking up on all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check Wait, what's out. this? Okay. Just window shopping. Oh, okay. So we get a little... Okay. Show off your latest finds ah, all right. So we get a wee display cabinet. Videos. All right. Fair enough. Treat yourself to something nice. Fair enough. In addition, we will be getting double drops events for combat simulation and routine cleanup. Oh, so we're literally just in the middle of our double drop on. one. Yeah, the routine cleanup in one. In 1.3, we optimize the layout of the friends system. Expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Oh. Proxies will be able to get various titles from events and from Agent Trust. Uh. You can only equip one title. And as for these badges... Oh my god, that freaking Yanagi banner. Oh my god. What, what's the freaking six one like when you unlock our... <laughs> any titles or badges, that's that totally fine too. Okay. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. But wait, there's more. There's more. I know you've got a whole wait, list of optimizations more. too. Come on, spill. Of course, of course. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement That's is maxed so. out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with a go-to button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly okay. tasks. Okay, dailies are pretty quick. The errands, you just do them as you're just doing, yeah. This update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks, which refresh weekly. This update will drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. Okay. Moreover, the challenge tab has been renamed to Combat for better Yeah, and you actually get some Under the little, tab, yeah, you'll okay, find new ways to access standard game modes, like the investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added in version 1.3. Uh. We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages, getting more familiar with the mechanics. Right, okay, okay. Targets, little little tweaks here and there, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation exercises from here, too. All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Good. Just an yeah. easier also, UI layout. Good. Good, 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 good. Layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. Nice. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Ooh. Routine Cleanup. Where proxies can now check agents who need the materials and discount. Ah, right, okay. So, yeah, it's a similar thing. It's like, wh which ones work with this agents, proxy? This one works. Okay, that makes sense. Regarding materials, drive discs, W engines, and more. For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, yeah, or use them from gaps, yeah. to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower... Ah, so they're even going to go even lower the then. So now it's like, now nice, that's good then. Levels. That's good. So it's just like, just merge, just craft them all right away. Nice. Level by level. And instead, that's good. Yes, there we go. Like it does a full-blown conversion one. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. running low on materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials you can craft across levels with a single action. I like it. But while we've always been able to craft low level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have a go too. You bet. In version 1.3, we're extending this handy feature to drive disc master oh. as well. So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items to get more advanced Nice! Drive discs. Okay, that cool. Is. That's good. Oh, yeah. that's, that's good. Added. We've added a new sort by time to the drive disc menu. Then I can also sort my drive discs. I have so I many drive discs, I still need to dismantle also. Maybe I'll just wait then. I'll just hold exactly. on. We've optimized the whole drive disc yeah. dismantling experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive discs when dismantling, making it a breeze to filter discs. Nice. Okay, need. good, good, good. Plus, the old select all has been replaced by quick select. Select all the discarded ones, yeah. I, I always put them on discarded. Always put them in the trash icon ones. Or all those marked as discarded. 
started. We've added a new details button for dismantling drive disks and W engines. Nice. And the original filter button is now an icon with text for better. That's kind of huge, though, isn't it? That's These pretty good. These new can really amp up the whole experience. Yeah, just just quicker. Also, but split it through all your stuff. You can your Make everything more clean. You can pen your agents and Bangboo for the agent menu, remodeling shop, Bangboo deployment interface, and more. Now you can find your faves with ease. And the first one pops up and right away. Okay. About the tweaks in the drive disk selection screen over at the music store. Now you can view more sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. That's it. That's all we need. Oh no. All that excitement drained my energy. All right, good, good, good. Some new optimization <laughs> stuff. That's good to know. That's good to hear. Wait. Hey, hang on a little longer. Lady Meow. See, they're just adding a little more tweaks. So what I like about Sandless Zone Zero is they just keep tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it, and, and they'll get there. They, they will get there. Most probably well, getting you that's nagging. A that's it. That's, that's what we were going in. for. Catch you next time. Bye. All right. Oh. 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 Oh, is this another music thing? Oh. Oh, is someone hacking into the system? Okay. All right. Okay. I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing there. But looking good, though. Looking good. We'll definitely be getting Yanagi. That is without a shadow of a doubt. That's who we'll be getting. And yeah, like I said, little tweaks and twi tweaks, bits and pieces here for optimization. Looking good. Looking all right. Just making our experience much better. I'm liking where they're going. They're definitely on the right track. I will give them that without a shadow of a doubt. But I will definitely be going for Yanagi. Easily. Easily, easily, easily will be going for Yanagi. No ifs or buts about that. She is dead on. I had wanted her since 1.0, since we watched the really early trailers of Sunless Zone Zeros. When I saw her, I was like, who is that? We're going for her. And that's who we're going for. But <laughs> that's why I'm going for. Are you going to go for Yanagi? Are you going to go for Lighter? Are you going to go for both? Are you going to get their W engines as well? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And do me a favor, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed the program. Make sure to redeem your code. Make sure to do that as well. Get those 300 polychromes. Every polychrome counts. But until the next time, I will give you all one last a final Sendless Zone Zero Cyber 5. And take care of yourselves. And each other. Until next time. Boop, 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 boop. Peace.